Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Check. There are two segments to the video today. First is how to set up Samsung DeX without an official DeX cable or dock. Secondly, an overall review of Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX is a desktop compatible version of your Galaxy device. It uses your phone's processor and network to run it on a bigger screen. Samsung DeX was launched alongside the Galaxy S8 way back in 2017. However, with Android 7 back then, you can only use it with an official DeX cable or dock, which costs about 200 bucks. Definitely it wasn't worth it for something so new. But with the Android 9 update, you can now use a third-party HDMI to USB-C adapter. However, an ordinary adapter won't do it. You'll need a hub with the USB and USB Type-C port, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Let's get started. Do note, the Samsung DeX only works on the flagship devices such as the Galaxy S8 series, Note 8, S9 series, Note 9, S10 series, Note 10 series, and the Galaxy S20 series. It will also be compatible with the upcoming Samsung S series and Note series smartphones. So first, proceed to connect the HDMI cable to both the display and the adapter. After that, connect the USB-C dongle onto your phone. Then you'll see a small pop-up message on your phone saying that it has HDMI connected. Which, But wait, it is not done yet. It is actually mirroring my phone screen. Now I'll show you how to have DeX on. Connect the charging cable USB to USB Type-C to the USB-C port on the adapter. Now connect the other part to a power source such as a charging brick or a power bank in this case. After your phone starts charging, you'll see the magic appearing on the monitor. Samsung DeX. Now, Samsung DeX has completely been set up. If you pull down the notification bar on your phone, you'll find out that you can use your phone as a trackpad. However, I don't suggest doing that because the trackpad is really uncomfortable, it heats up your phone and will drain your battery a lot. So, you can use a keyboard and a mouse by plugging it in to the USB port of the adapter. Now, I hope I helped you setting it up. Now it's time for the overall review of Samsung DeX. You do not want to miss out this part as I'll be showing you guys some features that are a must to check out. Let's hop right into it. So this is the home page that you're greeted with on Samsung DeX. You can click on this to view more apps. You can scroll through the different pages on your scroll wheel on a mouse or you can just click the buttons on each side. The navigation buttons work the same as your phones. This button works as a Recents tab to see all your recent apps, just like your phone. Do you know about what the Home button does? So let's talk about the Back button. Let's say you went to Chrome. The Back button will bring you to a previous page. Over here, you have your recent apps open on Dex. To open any one of these apps, move your mouse to the icon and click on it. You can click on the Close App button to close it. This button here collapses the bar to make more room for your home page. Clicking on the three dots here will open your notification panel where you can see all your recent notifications. This pointer is your quick settings bar where you can view all your network settings, etc. This question mark is to learn more about Samsung DeX, which is the Samsung DeX website, contacting them, how to use it, and notices. One great feature in this is Samsung DeX Labs. It is the lab symbol for DeX settings. Once you click on it, turn on the first option as it gives you the option to maximize the view of all apps. Apps in DeX only open in a pop-up view, so this feature will really help many of us. Next up is the keyboard. What it does is that it opens up the keyboard on a Galaxy smartphone if you're not using a physical keyboard. Next is the volume settings. After that is the dedicated screenshot button. Yes, it takes a screenshot of DeX. And beside that is the finder search. I feel that's a feature we all need. Now, I'll show you what happens when we open an app. I've opened Microsoft Word. So in the top right hand corner of the window, you'll see three options. They do the same purpose as a window on your PC. This button is to minimize the app. This button is to maximize it so that it can cover the whole screen. And the last button is to close the application. Samsung has given us a list of apps that work extremely well on DeX. One of these apps include Microsoft Word. Although you may be missing out on some features that you have on the desktop version, it is still worth it. 
I found it confusing at the start, but once you get used to it, you should be fine. The great part about this is that you can type on a physical keyboard and read whatever you want. Uh, you have it on your phone, on the go. Another app that I feel works well is YouTube. If you're one of those people who like the phone version of YouTube, but wish it could be bigger, but without the desktop interface, well, here you have it. However, when you click on a video, it does not play in full screen. To play the video on full screen, click and press the full screen icon. One major issue I have with this is that the buttons for play and pause, pausing a video don't stay there for long. One great feature is the ability to play the video on a mini player, which on the phone version, you need to have YouTube Premium. At this point, if you're enjoying the video, a sub will be greatly appreciated. Please turn on the notifications to be the first to watch our videos. One app that works amazingly well is Microsoft Teams. It is fully optimized to work on de uh, decks and the best part awaits your ears. Nowadays, when you're on video conferencing, when you're video conferencing your colleagues or classmates, this feature will come in handy. Let's say you do not have a webcam or really bad webcam or you just don't want to peel that sticker off your webcam. There's great news for you. You can use your phone as a webcam. Yes, you heard me right. Your phone as a webcam. I hope Samsung will continue to make this feature better and they will continue investing in DeX. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more content and leave a like if you enjoyed. Bye-bye.